Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For today's video, I will teach you how to measure area. Recall that in geometry, area is defined as the region enclosed or bounded by a plane figure or a flat shape. It is measured in square units such as square feet, square inches, square centimeters, square meters, and others. Some of the most familiar applications of this mathematical concept involves finding the area of a room floor. We usually do this to determine the size of the carpet to be bought or to know the number of tiles needed to cover the floor. Another is finding the area of a wall. This is to know how much paint or wallpapers are needed to cover the wall. Land area as used in farming is also an application of this mathematical concept. Now here are some common formulas or formulae used for area. For rectangle, area is given by length times the width. Area of a square is the square of a side or simply S squared. Area of a circle is equal to pi times the square of its radius. For triangle, area is denoted as the half of the product of its base and height. For area of a parallelogram, since it can be transformed into rectangle, its formula is related to that of the area of rectangle. It is given by area equals base times the height. For area of a rhombus, we use the formula one-half of the product of the two diagonals. For the area of a trapezoid, we use the formula one-half times the quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2, where those two variables represent the bases, times height, and others. Now let us apply these formulas in answering problems. For our first example, determine the measure of the base of the triangular part of a tent if the area is 14 square feet and the height is 5 feet. Here we will first identify the given values in the problem. The area is already stated. It is 14 square feet and the height is 5 feet. What we need to solve here is the base. Using the formula for the area of a triangle, A equals 1 half BH, substituting the values, it will be 14 equals 1 half times B times 5. From here, we will multiply both sides by 2 so that the fraction 1 half will be equal to 1. Equation now is 28 equals 5B. To solve for B, we will divide both sides by 5. 28 divided by 5, the quotient is 5.6. Hence, the base of the triangular part of the tent is 5.6 feet. For our second example, Emil went to a pizza store and saw the promo for a large pizza or two pan pizzas both amounting to 499 pesos, which is a better buy. Two pan pizzas with a radius of 4 inches or a large pizza with a radius of 6 inches. For this item, we first need to know the area of each pizza. The formula that we will use is given by A equals pi r squared since a whole pizza is circular in shape. Also, according to the problem, the large pizza has a radius of 6 inches. In stores, size of pizza is stated in diameter, so it is the 12 inches pizza in their menu. To solve the area of the large pizza, we will substitute the radius 6 inches in the formula. A equals pi r squared. It will be A equals pi times the square of 6 inches. Or simply that is equal to 36 pi square inches. When evaluated, it is approximately equal to 113.10 square inches. Meanwhile, 
Solving for the combined area of two pan pizzas whose radius is 4 inches, it will be A equals pi times the square of 4 inches then times 2. The square of 4 inches is 16 square inches then times pi and 2, the product is 32 pi square inches or approximately equal to 100.53 square inches. Now, comparing the areas of the two promo pizzas, it is clear that one large pizza is a better buy since its area is larger than the area of two pan pizzas. Now, in real life, not every shape can be clearly classified as a rectangle, square, or a triangle. So, there is another kind of shape that emerges. These are called composite shapes. Composite shapes are consist of more than one shape like this floor plan, wall of a house, and others. To find the area of such figure, we need to get the sum of the area of both or all the shapes forming the composite figure. As an example, say you are asked to measure the total land area of Holy Redeemer School of Kabuyao. Given this lot blueprint, with measurements indicated, what is the school's area? As you can see in the illustration, this composite shape can be divided into basic shapes like a triangle, a square, and two rectangles. By the way, composite shapes can be divided in various forms depending on one's perspective. Going back to the problem, to determine the area of the lot or land, we will add the area of the triangle, the square, and the two rectangles. Formula will be area of the composite shape equals one-half base times height for the triangle plus S squared for the square plus length times width of the larger rectangle plus length times width of the smaller rectangle. For the triangle, the base is 5 meters and the height is 60 meters. For the square, the side measures 60 meters. For the larger rectangle, the length is 30 meters while the width is 20 meters. And lastly, for the smaller rectangle, the length is 25 meters and the width is 10 meters. Solving for the area of each shape, Area of the triangle, 1 half times 5 meters times 60 meters, that is equal to 150 square meters. Then plus, the area of the square, square of 60 meters, that is equal to 3,600 square meters. Plus the area of the larger rectangle, 30 meters times 20 meters, product is 600 square meters. Plus the product, of 25 meters and 10 meters for the smaller rectangle. That is equal to 250 square meters. Now when all these values are added, the sum is 4,600 square meters. Hence, the lot or land area of Holy Redeemer School of Kabuyao is 4,600 square meters. Another example Determine the area of the shaded region in the diagram below if the radius of a circle is 12 centimeters. Basically, what we have here are two adjacent congruent circles inscribed in a rectangle such that the circle suits perfectly inside the rectangle. When we say congruent circles, this means that the radius of the circles are the same and so are their areas. Also recall that the diameter of a circle is equal to twice the radius. So the diameter here is 24 centimeters. Moreover, the width of the rectangle is equal to the diameter, so it is 24 centimeters. For the length of the rectangle, we will just multiply the diameter by 2 because we have two adjacent congruent circles. Thus, the length is 48 centimeters. After identifying the hidden values, we will now form our working equation. To know the area of the shaded region, we will subtract the areas of the two circles 
from the area of the rectangle. Equation will be area of the shaded equals the area of the rectangle minus twice the area of the circles. Substituting the values, 48 centimeters times 24 centimeters minus 2 pi times the square of 12 centimeters. Performing the operations, that will be 1,152 square centimeters minus 904.78 square centimeters or simply equal to 247.22 square centimeters. Hence, the area of the shaded part is approximately equal to 247.22 square centimeters. After knowing the area of a composite shape, we will now go to another type of area which refers to the outside surface of a solid or a three-dimensional figure. This is known as the surface area. For instance, a rectangular prism has six rectangular bases and lateral faces. So the total surface area is the sum of the areas of all the six rectangles. And just like the common shapes, there are also formulas or formulae used for such surface area, like 6s squared for a cube, twice length times width plus twice height times width plus twice height times length in rectangular prism, 2 pi rh plus 2 pi r squared for a right circular cylinder, and others. As an example, how many square feet of metal are used to make a cylindrical water tank whose height is 10 feet and with diameter of 4 feet? Illustrating the cylindrical water tank, its height is 10 feet. We will set this as H and the diameter of both the base and the cover is 4 feet. Recall that the diameter is twice the radius. This means that the radius is 2 feet. Writing the formula for the surface area of a right circular cylinder, surface area is equal to twice pi rh plus 2 times pi r squared. Substituting the values, surface area is now equal to 2 pi times 2 feet times 10 feet plus 2 pi times the square of 2 feet. Performing the operations, it will be 40 pi square feet plus 8 pi square feet or 48 pi square feet. When evaluated, that is approximately equal to 150.80 square feet. Hence, 150.80 square feet of metal were used to make the cylindrical water tank. Thank you for watching. God bless.